The Cascade Mountains loomed over the dense forest like sleeping giants, their misty peaks brushing the sky. Nyla Croft, a world-renowned adventurer and archaeologist, trudged through the undergrowth with her twin pistols strapped to her sides. The early morning light filtered through the pines, casting long shadows on the damp ground. Her mission, to find the mythical Forest King, a creature reported to be an elusive giant, potentially connected to lost indigenous legends that spoke of a protector spirit one with wild eyes, enormous strength, and ancient knowledge. Rumors, folklore, blurry photos, none of it mattered to Nyla. She was relentless. If it existed, she would find it. Weeks of tracking had brought her here, deep into the Cascade Wilderness. She knelt beside a massive footprint, nearly twice the size of her boot. Pressing her fingers into the imprint, she felt the damp earth shift beneath her touch. It was fresh. Her pulse quickened. He's close, she whispered to herself. The sudden rustle of leaves behind her snapped her into action. Instinctively, she pulled her pistols, spun around, and aimed into the forest's shadowy depths. Nothing. For a moment, all she could hear was the wind weaving through the branches. And then the movement. A figure loomed between the trees, massive and silent. It wasn't just big, it was colossal. The towering beast stepped forward into a patch of sunlight, revealing matted dark fur, arms like tree trunks, and piercing eyes, eyes that spoke of intelligence beyond primal instinct. Nyla's breath hitched. It was him. The Forest King. Without hesitation, the creature let out a low, rumbling growl and charged. The battle begins. Nyla leapt sideways as the beast's massive fist crashed into the ground, sending a cloud of dirt and leaves flying. She rolled, sprang to her feet, and fired a warning shot into the air. Stop, she shouted, but the beast roared, deafening the forest with its fury. Nyla knew a fight was inevitable. She had trained her whole life for moments like these, combat born of instinct and survival. And so, the dance began. The Bigfoot moved with surprising speed for a creature of its size. It swiped at her with a giant arm, forcing her to duck and roll. She fired several shots, the bullets grazing its thick fur but doing little to slow it down. The creature lunged, and Nyla barely avoided being crushed beneath its massive frame. She scrambled to her feet, kicking off a tree to vault herself out of harm's way. This wasn't just an animal, the beast anticipated her movements, as if it had fought skilled opponents before. Bigfoot snarled and rushed her again. Nyla swung a hunting knife from her belt, slicing across the beast's forearm, but it barely flinched. In a swift, brutal motion, it grabbed her by the leg and slammed her into the ground, knocking the wind from her lungs. Nyla gasped, struggling to crawl away as the creature loomed over her, ready to strike the final blow. But then something unexpected happened. The beast hesitated. Its eyes, which had burned with rage moments before, softened for a fleeting instant. It stared down at Nyla, its breath heavy and labored, as if realizing she wasn't just another intruder. She wasn't there to harm it. And Nyla, dazed but alert, saw something in its gaze she hadn't expected, curiosity. From fury to respect. Both combatants froze, their heavy breaths mingling in the cool forest air. Time seemed to stretch between them an unspoken truce, born not from surrender, but from mutual recognition. You're not just a beast, are you? Nyla whispered, her voice hoarse. The Bigfoot snorted, as if amused. It released her leg and took a step back, watching her closely. Nyla slowly sat up, her body aching from the fight. She didn't reach for her pistols again. Instead, she held her hands open, showing she meant no harm. The creature grunted and turned, lumbering a few paces away but glancing back to ensure she followed. With a mixture of caution and curiosity, Nyla stood and trailed the massive figure through the forest. It was strange and uneasy truce between two beings that had moments ago tried to destroy each other. The creature led her to a secluded clearing. There, Nyla saw something that made her heart ache. A small, injured creature, another Bigfoot, but much smaller, likely a juvenile, lay beneath the twisted roots of an old cedar tree, its leg caught in a rusted bear trap. The larger Bigfoot knelt beside the injured one, gently touching its fur and letting out a mournful sound. 
You were defending them, Nyla realized aloud, her voice soft. She knelt beside the juvenile, careful not to make any sudden moves. Let me help. The adult Bigfoot watched her with wary eyes but didn't interfere as she inspected the trap. The steel jaws had bitten deep into the young one's leg. Nyla pulled out a small pry bar from her pack and slowly began to open the trap. The juvenile whimpered as the metal released its grip, but Nyla worked quickly to clean the wound and wrap it in gauze from her first aid kit. There, she whispered, tying the bandage in place. It'll heal. The larger Bigfoot huffed, a sound that almost seemed like gratitude. Kindred spirits. As the sun began to set, the clearing filled with the soft orange glow of twilight. Nyla sat with the two creatures, feeling a strange sense of peace she hadn't experienced in years. For the first time in a long while, she wasn't chasing something, fighting something, or running from something. She glanced at the adult Bigfoot, who was watching her with an expression she couldn't quite decipher. You're not so different from me, Nyla said quietly. We would both spend our lives alone, fighting, surviving. Always misunderstood. Always hunted. The Bigfoot rumbled softly, almost as if it understood. Nyla leaned back, resting her head against the tree. I came here looking for a monster, she said. But I found something, more. The creature huffed again, this time in a way that sounded suspiciously like agreement. As the night deepened, Nyla realized she didn't want to leave. She had spent so much of her life searching for the unknown, pushing herself to the brink, always looking for the next challenge. But here, in this quiet moment beneath the stars, she felt something she hadn't felt in years, contentment. The Bigfoot sat beside her, its massive frame a comforting presence in the darkness. For the first time, Nyla allowed herself to relax. The morning after. When dawn broke over the forest, Nyla awoke to the sound of birdsong. The two Bigfoots were still there, the larger one standing watch, the juvenile resting peacefully beside it. Nyla stood, stretching her sore muscles. The larger Bigfoot turned to her, and in that moment, she knew it was time to go. Thank you, she said softly, placing a hand over her heart in a gesture of respect. The creature inclined its head, a silent farewell. Without another word, Nyla turned and began her trek back through the forest, her heart lighter than it had been in years. As she walked, she knew she would never tell anyone about what had happened. Some things were too sacred to be shared. And somewhere deep in the forest, the forest king watched her go, knowing that he, too, had found something unexpected, a kindred spirit in the unlikeliest of places.